Joining me now, retired Brigadier General Anthony Tata and former Special Forces Sergeant Major Michael Glover. All right, Tata, this is it. Yeah, Roger, that, Jesse, great to be with you. They're uh, developing the intelligence. They've been doing intelligence preparation of the battlefield. And it seems like they've identified the key areas that they need to go. They've, they've uh, uh, actually brought in some envelopment there. You, you saw with the naval forces. And, and this team has uh, apparently uh, developed a very clear picture of where the enemy is, uh, obviously below the hospital. They want to know where the civilians are. They want to know where the hostages are. And, you know, it's a Ph.D. level problem with the three-dimensional battlefield of high rises, the rubble in the streets, and, and certainly the tunnels that you mentioned. So uh, this, this is something that took some time. Uh, to develop that uh, battlefield uh, picture, and now they've been able to move their logistics into place, and they want to get uh, into Gaza and and take enough terrain, tighten up their logistics, and, and make sure they have 360-degree security because those tunnels go everywhere. They don't know where they all are, and, and what they don't want to do is get so deep into to Gaza that they, they envelop themselves when Hamas comes out uh, the backside. So uh, it seems to me that Israel has taken the time that they need to develop this picture and now uh, get after it in a way that uh, they can be successful, as Netanyahu said, which is to destroy Hamas. And Glover, when the infantry makes this first contact with the enemy on the ground, what kind of intelligence picture are they going to get immediately? Well, it's called sensitive site exploitation, basically taking evidence right off the bad guys. Look, the, the, the worst of the bad guys are the terrorists, and Hamas is the worst of the worst. These guys are the guys that carried all their oper operational plans on their kit when they attacked Israel and killed 1,400-plus civilians. So uh, that sensitive site exploitation, that SSC on the ground is going to be very important because it's going to, it's going to create a better picture, a more refined picture. Like the general said, operational preparation of the environment has been taking place, but now they're going to be flexing target to target, gathering intel off the battlefield and potentially giving them a more refined picture of where these hostages are. And so, Glover, when they're in there, are they mostly facing sniper fire? I mean, is mostly is going to be a defensive posture by Hamas? Yeah, it's going yeah, to be see, that, ur that urban warfare uh, block to block. They're going to be using snipers. They're going to be using uh, RPGs. They're going to be using ambushes, improvised explosives. If they're backed by Iran like they are backed by Iran, you're going to see similar tactics used uh, that were used against us in Iraq. And um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, it's some of the difficult, most difficult fighting that Israel has ever faced. And Tata, were you surprised with this naval action, this assault from the South? Did you see that coming? Uh, well, I'm not surprised by anything the IDF does because they're very innovative. They're very creative. They have good leadership. And and to me, uh, the, the pause that uh, everybody was wondering what was happening, I knew that they would be coming up with something creative to be able to maneuver and get the enemy fixed, focused away from just the northern border of Gaza with Israel. And, and you know, why not, you know, what Hezbollah is doing to Israel, making them look in two directions, why not uh, force uh, Hamas to look in multiple directions and get them off balance? I think it's a creative uh, way to start this. It seems like they're getting a good set and they'll be able to have two fronts. Uh, which is a good thing, as long as they can keep the logistics coming in from the, from the sea. All right. Gentlemen, thank you guys so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.